Howdy! Welcome to the Whiskey Butler. I'm your host, Wesley Butler, here to finish serving you some Super Bowl whiskey wisdom because we are now in the fourth quarter. I got my finishing team here, you know, we got the veterans. I still got my person that's got the guest episode with the most views that I've ever had here on the Whiskey Butler. That's right. As long as she doesn't say J-E-T-S, Jets, 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 we're going to be okay in this episode. No guarantees. No guarantees. Okay. All right. So, as you'll notice, I'm on a different side this time. I pulled a different number than I have for the others. Pulled a different number or strategically gave yourself the number, you, a different number? Yeah, so I pulled a different number this time, strategically. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, it's going to be just like we have for the rest of the quarters. we got six different whiskeys. Nobody knows what they're drinking except for myself. So we're going to tell you what we think about these whiskeys that are coming up. Who pulled the ace this time? All right. Tell us what you got. I know what you got. Do you need reading glasses? Catoctin Creek. Ooh, nice. Yeah, but what, which glass. Catoctin Creek? <laughs> uh. <laughs> the Cast Finished Stout Barrel Rye Whiskey. There you go. Ooh, that's that's a lot of words. Lot of words. Cast <laughs> Finished Stout <laughs> Barrel. Okay. So this was one of their special releases. 100% rye whiskey. Uh, initially aged in virgin oak cast for two years before being finished for 11 months in a cast that previously held bourbon, single malt, scotch whiskey, and Russian imperial stout from the Detroit Theory Brewery near Catoctin Creek out in Percival. I think I made the right choice here. No, I can't put that in the glass. Yeah, don't drink a shirt. Let me enjoy myself. So you want the, you want this one though? You don't so want you don't want to try this one? No, no. Fair enough. You're gonna try this one? Oh, okay. This is. It looks a little caramel as far as the color goes. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's. Is, it, is that your word? Is that? Yeah. I'm just I'm just picking up on the caramel. Is a word. <laughs> it's it's caramel. It's definitely caramel. Yeah. Well, it's got it's definitely got a stout uh, sniffer on it. So. Sure. Maybe you want to pour it in the glass that's made for sniffing things in. How dare oh, you? Oh, let, let it air out. Let it, let it breathe. Let it breathe. This is his third one, third quarter, right? Like, you know any yeah. This is his third quarter. Not to mention the amount of Gatorade yeah. we've had in the green room. Yeah. <laughs> no Gatorade. Hmm. <laughs> that is. Yeah. I hate to say it, but it is kind of caramel. <laughs> <laughs> right? Right? Just What's it taste like? Let's find out. Let's <laughs> tell folks that can talk to Creek what you think about it. Or America. Or America. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. He says, hmm. That is not the taste I was expecting based on the nose. Hmm. Based okay. on the caramel, Lee. Yeah. I can't say it correctly. <laughs> well, there was, uh, I'm not getting any caramel in the taste, actually. But, hmm. Getting a little, uh, some some earthy, like, kind of dirty peaty. Stouty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stouty. That's where the stout comes in. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, very different. Um, it's unfortunate because now I don't know if I like it or not. <laughs> oh, oh! Wow. Maybe we've got the a little uh, an interception. No, got an illegal yeah. procedure yeah. on the first on the first those are Very delicious, but uh, the taste is oh. just uh, it's just so so. Might have a oh, sorry, illegal Kentucky procedure. Creek. Sorry, Catoctin Creek. Okay, but All I right. love much of your other stuff. <laughs> yes, yes. Who's got number two? Me. All right. Let's see what I got. See what you got. I have Dripless Glen Small Batch Wisconsin. Yes. Wisconsin. So we got a new, so we it's two four new, year old. Four years old. We got two new states in a row: Virginia and now Wisconsin. Mm. Um, so their small batches. They call their small batches 20, 20 different barrels. Uh, it's bottled at ninety six proof. Mash bill: sixty percent corn, twenty percent rye, twenty percent malted barley. Okay. So, mm, there you go. It's not as it's lighter than 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 the, a little bit. Not as caramely. No. Not as caramely. No. no. <laughs> I know nothing about whiskey, so I'm just going to taste You're it and tell you it. if it's good. I'm say, drink it. Tell us if you like it. Tell the folks in Cheeseland if you like their whiskey. Mm. It's a little spicy. I like the one I had in the first quarter better than <clears throat> I like this one. Okay, so this would be considered a high rye 
bourbon mash bill with a 20% rye. That so. means absolutely nothing to me. So. <laughs> That's why spicy. That's why it's spicy. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for understanding my confusion, Nikki, and being like, it's spicy. That's fine. <laughs> I mean, so, it's good, but I like, like the yeah, I like it, but okay. I like the other one better. Okay. The the riff, the new riff, new the new riff. riff new I like riff. that one better. Okay. And, and so, why do you like it better? Because I like uh, I don't like this. I like the smooth more than the spice. It's too, it's still too strong. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Yes. Well, that's good though. That's so hey, I can form a semi-okay <laughs> opinion. <laughs> Everyone's palate is different. Everyone's palate is different. But you didn't say you didn't like it. No, no, I'll drink it and I like yeah. it, but I like the other one better. Excellent. Uh, hey, uh, that's okay. It's not dirty alcohol. It's not dirty alcohol. Who's number three? I mean, all right. Let's go. Oh, wow. Whiskey. Yeah. Whiskey. 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 I don't know how you ended up drawing the so one that you have at home. I, it's a magic. It's just magic. <laughs> just magic. We took a little trip down there. <laughs> up there. Up there. Everything's, everything's <laughs> down from where I'm there. No. 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 We down. are in the south. That is in the north. I, 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 I can't. I think so. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sure, I'm on. Do not think so. Anyway, we went we down there. Below the Mason, Mason Dixon. Well, you're right, though. Yeah. We're yeah. Yeah. South. <laughs> you live in Virginia. <laughs> yeah. The capital of the Confederacy. <laughs> yeah. I would be <laughs> <don't know. I laughs> more south than the capital. I was we born in Colorado. In I was born in Colorado. Everything's below me. I'm just going to leave that yeah. Leave that where it is. So. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's wow. right. That's right. Wow. So, yeah, I said, just tell us how you like this. I think we Mile high, baby. <laughs> okay. I like the Whistle Pig 10 year. <laughs> and did you know when they first started making the Whistle Pig 10 year that they got the juice from Canada? The original Whistle Pig 10 year was blended Canadian rye whiskey. Mm -hmm. Oh, before they were up and running. No, no, no. Well, well I mean, before, before, they, before they had enough of their own stock. grain right, right, to start right. distilling their yeah. own in Vermont. Yeah. Now, yeah. I think they started uh, in 2015, they started using their own home grains in their rye whiskey. But the original mm -hmm. had a lot of blended Canadian yeah. rye. Yeah, so we'll assume this is their own. Well, I don't, I don't know. No, no. We don't know. We don't, we don't know. Because it doesn't have a date. It doesn't have a date on it. But probably more than likely. Yeah, yeah but it could be 80% of their own and still some Canadian. Sure. I don't know. Sure. Sure. Maybe they'd be more sure Whistle Pig. You gotta, you gotta look I will say, though, that Whistle Pig, if you look at the bottles, though, they're really good about telling you how much is their own mm -hmm. and how much mm -hmm. came from somewhere else. Yeah. So. So they're very honest. Good transparency there in uh, uh, in Vermont at Whistle Pig. But they do they do make a good product and they they know how to age things. All their stuff. I they know how to age things. Like okay. just put it in the barrel and wait. Well, because they age things they, differently than elsewhere. They, they generally they, they, they tend to age things longer. Okay. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how they age they it, right? In certain barrels and things like that. Well, eh, I mean, I guess they they. they they don't typically finish a lot of their stuff. Okay. Their stuff usually just ages in the new char barrels. Yeah, yeah. They're they have a new. They're doing like the fancy. They put finish. a little spin on their boss hogs, though. Well, their boss hogs, yes, they, they do totally put a spin on their boss hogs. That's a totally different, totally different. That's thing. a whole totally new. That's a whole separate thing. episode. You're not gonna find one of those in this. <laughs> All right. But this is good. This is a good solid whiskey. Is it even worth me asking if you would buy it again since you already have it at home? Of course. Of course. I mean, I'll ask you if you want me to. No, sure. Ask. Would you buy this again? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Number four. Here we go. Lovely looking hair you have there. Thanks. No. Thanks to Billy. <laughs> <laughs> Billy. Noah's Mill Kentucky Street Bourbon Whiskey Small Batch. Yes. So Noah's Mill. Mill. Another Kentucky bourbon that we have here. I've never tried that. I'm going to go ahead and let her pour it first before I tell her some things about this, but this is part of the Willet families of whiskey. Ooh. Okay. It, it's, it's, I didn't even close that, okay? I was, I was afraid of that, too. I understand. <laughs> it's, a, it's a blend of bourbons ranging from anywhere four years old to 20 years old, and wow. it's 114 proof. <laughs> Enjoy. It's part of Did we try that? I didn't know that was uh, part of Willett. Noah's Will is a part of the Willett family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't think we did. We actually did. No, we didn't. I mean, it smells 
Well, you can smell the alcohol, but <laughs> it also smells fair. like vanilla. Yeah, bit. well, it's, it says it has some four to twenty year bourbons in there, so mm. you, so you know. Yeah. Any, any, any caramely? <laughs> no. She was I'm not here for the I'm not familiar with on. what makes she's, something caramely. She's like, <laughs> like, like all, all brown this. liquor looks caramely. Do you hear the <laughs> <laughs> it's very fruity. Oh, okay. I don't know what the fruit is yet, mm -hmm. but it's a fruit. Is it stone fruit? <laughs> 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 but do you like it? TBD. Do you, do you taste the 114 fruit? Um, yeah. I mean, yeah. Maybe I would think it was a, maybe like 100, but it's not, it's definitely not like nice. It's not it's blowing not, you away. It, no, it's not like the, the, some of the stuff you have that's like one third. <laughs> yeah. It like evaporates as soon as you open the bottle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's good, it's good. <laughs> I feel like it doesn't... Maybe it needs to open a little more. Okay. Was, okay. But I feel like the it's like one, you know, usually yeah. with bourbon or wine, you taste multiple tastes along the road. Sure, so sure. This is as it, as like, it opens up. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. So pause on that statement <laughs> while you're letting it open up. It's from the Willett family. Why don't number five, you open yours and tell us what you have. Willet. You have the Willet. It's big enough. I can't. I can't well, remember. Well, how? You have the <laughs> Willet. Say Willet. Family Reserve four-year-old rye whiskey. Okay. Sweet. Four years. There you go. So we'll see we what you think about the Willet. Will it be four good? Year. Will it? I don't know. Will it? Is this one in a special bottle? Yeah. What? Um, it's not one of the special bottles, but it is. Ca they, these are usually cast strength. Um, it is a blend of two different Willow <laughs> Rye mash bills, high rye and a low rye, that's and that's got a 110 proof on it too. <laughs> Willow likes their high proof. Nice. For those of you out there, while Maureen is tasting hers, the Willet pot still though, that actually comes in the bottle that looks like a pot still, Bye, fabulous. Mm -hmm. That could be an airport whiskey if you're ever in an airport and you see that. Willet pot still is very good. Willet very pot good. still is always a good choice. Yes, what do you think of your Willet for you? It burns. <laughs> <laughs> Does it burn so good though? <clears throat> not quite yet. We really enjoyed mm -hmm. our trip to my life. Well, it was delicious. I'm not sure I love this. No, oh, okay. But did yours burn? No, it didn't burn. Yours didn't burn. I just feel like usually there's, I feel like it's just all the same flavor the whole way through, which is not as interesting as when it's not. But. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Well, I think if we're talking about that, I think the reason that yours doesn't burn and yours does is because yours is a blend of, of a bunch of different bourbons. And yours is just two different mash yeah. bills, like aged only four years. So I think that could contribute to the less burn over here than what you're than what you're tasting. Yeah, so four years is pretty low. So. Yeah, it is. I mean, but hey, four years gets you a bottle of bun. That's true. Four that's years true. gets you a bottle of bun. So it doesn't burn. It doesn't mean it doesn't burn though. That is. But true. is it caramel? <laughs> <laughs> nice. No, Way to bring it definitely not caramel. This is not caramel. All right, so we've come to the end. We've come to the end of the game. We are at the goal line here. We are fourth and goal. It's for the win of the game. What do we have? Is whiskey number twenty-four? We do have the Blanton's gold. You son of a You son What a jerk! <laughs> Man, I didn't know what this was all about. I was calling BS. Oh boy, the refs have rigged it. The refs have rigged it. So many flags around. <laughs> Look how deflated that ball is. <laughs> Look how deflated that is. So if you had DraftKings that uh, Blaine's Gold Edition was you know going to be the last whiskey, done. you I just made done. out. I won six. I've never yeah, actually had heard. Blaine's Gold Edition, so as I've been keeping with my tradition, drinking whiskeys that I have not had before, never had the Blaine's Gold Edition. So you so just I'm had excited. to give yourself I was some the Blaine's like Gold Edition to end out the Super Bowl episode. 
Wow. Yes, now, what makes it different is the normal way. The normal way is, is a regular single barrel, but it is uh, 93 proof. This is 103 proof. Mm -hmm. So this is closer to barrel proof than the regular blends. And hard to find Blanton's gold in the United States. Yes. Usually you have to go internationally to find... Okay. That's right. Mm -hmm. Usually you have to go internationally to find a Blanton's gold. But I'm glad, thank you to Jason McMurphy for sending me this. Open it up number 24. <laughs> hmm. Let's go to number 24. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Here, yes, drink it. Yes, let me help you. Get your <laughs> Mickey and I think alike. But I believe they recently uh, stated that they were going to start selling blank gold more in the U.S. In the US. They did. Oh, yes. 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 Why do they only okay. sell it in the U.K.? I feel like I've had this conversation with you guys. I before. actually don't know. I mean, it's the same re for some reason. Jack Daniels used to only sell their bottled and bond at duty free shops yeah. in the airport. Mm -hmm. And then they changed it, and now they start they started selling their bottle and bond in the regular stores. And so I guess Blanton's is going to take advantage take advantage of the whiskey bourbon craze going on here in the U.S. Really good, by the way. So um, I'm going to go ahead and finish this, uh, but we are going to say thank you for watching. I want to thank all my participants, even those that are in the green room that are in. That were in past episodes. Uh, I want to thank you to the producer sitting over here telling us when the camera was on and off, yeah. and so on and so forth, and doing the internet research to tell us uh, what people's names were and so on and so forth. Yes, yes, thank you. Um, and so we will catch you the next time. Please go enjoy the Super Bowl. Thank you for watching. Like this episode. Share it with your friends. Subscribe. Click the bell if you're not already. Once you subscribe, so you can be notified of future episodes. What is the future episode going to be? I don't know, but we're going to feed your mind and your palate here on the Whiskey Butler. And thank you for watching. See you next time. Go Eagles! What?